Wade Meckler, <laughs> who was drafted last year and has gone through Eugene, Richmond, and was in Sacramento all in this calendar year. So he has jumped four spots to the big league club as a small-ish uh, outfielder, and he's starting, hitting number two hole tonight uh, in center field. I He is kind of just, I think, surprised the entire organization with with how much that he's risen. He he's just he hasn't stopped hitting at every every no. spot. He's just continued to hit. And I think his lowest batting average at a stop was uh last year, late last year, he hit like 289 in in a few handful of at bats, uh maybe in the rookie league or, or something. But every other stop he's been hitting over 300. So Wade Meckler, you're kind of ball player to me. I feel like he's like right <laughs> yeah. up your alley for for what you like out of baseball players. <clears throat> I I want more stolen bases out of him. That's the only thing. But but yeah, he he is a grinder. He's a guy who gets on base via the walk, via the hit. He he's not going to be our home run savior. He's not going to pop up here and all of a sudden start mashing twenty home runs the rest of the you know the rest of the way here but he's going to give a uh, he's going to be a guy who's going to give this lineup some life um he's batting second as we're speaking monday night's game he'll be batting second um by the time you listen to this he'll have his first three hits of his uh, major league <laughs> baseball career because he's getting three hits tonight there you go um but he, yeah. So he's gonna, he's a guy, and then that way you can drop Tyro down to the seven or eight spot, which he is tonight. I think he's in the eight spot, um, and kind of turn that lineup over a little bit. It's not so much the bottom of the lineup has been struggling. Usually, when you look at a team and they go, "Oh, you can score some runs," but your seven, eight, nine, your six, seven, eight, nine guys are really struggling. And then that way, when you get back to the top of the lineup, you got a table set again it's kind of been all over the place for the giants. Um, and so here you can bring Tyro down to the eight spot. You could do a little bit of a lineup flip. Tyro has been hot. So if you can get some guys on in front of him, you can get a guy like Tyro to now come up with a big base hit. So you go uh, Lamont Wade jr. Then you go Meckler. Um, that's a pretty nice one too. If, and again, I say if Wade Meckler translates to the bigs, there's no proof he's not going to at this point. When you look at what he did last year, starting in the rookie league uh, with the Giants, 289 in 38 at bats. Then they brought him up to San Jose, 41 at bats. He hit 439. And then he started this year in Eugene, 79 at bats, 456. And then in Richmond, 149 at bats. That's his longest stay uh, out of any uh, stop along the way. 336 batting average. And then in Sacramento, uh, only 10 games, 25 plate appearances, 400. So, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't examined this guy a whole lot because I didn't, <laughs> I honestly didn't think we were going to see him this year. Like you no. said earlier, it was kind of one of those things where you're going, I, I mean, mean, yeah, think, be cool think about, think about, up, but. yeah, think about who we were talking about last year. We were talking about Vaughn Brown and Grant right. McCray. And this dude jumped over both of those guys. Just was oh, yeah. like, uh, and and look, you know, he's he's college, so he pl he played in college, so he's twenty three. It's not like he's you know jumping up from like you know nineteen or or whatever. Exactly. He, he's a little seasoned, but but still, you know, just the the fact that he was not a as much on the radar as even those two guys were, but now he's he's leapt over those guys to. to and so here here's one thing for folks watching on video. This will be probably be. Uh, be pretty fun maybe not not as much on radio but i think uh <laughs> the mustache yeah. the, the mustache is, is a big part of it like it, it there's got to be some power in the mustache uh, the, there's got to be some i don't know is it hits in the mustache whatever it is like that is uh a daring mustache there like you got to have confidence oh, oh, yeah. in yourself to rock that mustache yeah, I know. I know Jeff Kent's not dead, but I think Wade <laughs> Meckler might be Jeff Kent reincarnated in in the baseball sense, right? Because looking in his face, you go, "Well, that's Jeff Kent," but he's not going to hit thirty home runs. He's not going to hit twenty five home runs. Um, man, that's a that's a doozy. That is a grade A 
gigantic caterpillar. Yeah, is what's going on there. That mixed with the with the Richmond flying squirrels hat. So he's got a squirrel on the upper <laughs> lip. He's got a squirrel on the hat. There's a lot going on there, man. The Eugene Bigfoot and then the mustache. I mean, it it translates. It, it yeah. works well. 